hi guys so welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video in this video I'm gonna show you what I use on my skin to shrink large pores to clear my skin of hyperpigmentation and also to get rid of blackheads and whiteheads some people with oily skin tend to get a lot of blackheads a lot of large pores this remedy is loaded with antioxidants and minerals and vitamins that is going to clean those pores out get rid of the dead skin cells from your face and leave your skin not only free from blackheads whiteheads and large pores but also from wrinkles and fine lines so if you're looking for a homemade remedy that you could try on your skin and see if it works as well for you as it works for me follow me to my kitchen I'll share the recipe with you and I will also show you how to use it on your skin for best result one of the best so natural you. ingredient that you can use on the skin to get rid of excess oil from your skin is oatmeal oatmeal is loaded with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that help to treat dry skin and remove dead skin cells Oatmeal also contain a compound called saponis, which are a natural cleanser. They remove the dirt and oil that clog the pores and exfoliate the skin, getting rid of all the dead skin cells from the surface of the skin. And what will happen? Your skin will not only look clean and clear, but it will not feel greasy at all. Today I'm going to be using oatmeal in this recipe, and I'm using about a quarter cup. However, what I'm going to do with the oatmeal I am going to blend it to a powder when you blend the oatmeal to a powder it make it easier to use on your skin so blend a quarter cup to a fine powder now once this is done take a look this is what it looks like very fine very powder like now take a look at what I have here here I have dried orange peel for this recipe you can use dried orange peel or dried lemon peel now oranges have a high content of citric acid which aid in skin exfoliation and help dry out acne however when it comes on to the peel it has a higher content of vitamin C than the orange itself now vitamin C will help to boost collagen production in the skin it will also help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation it will help to clean those pores out and shrink large pores leaving your skin clean clear and bright orange peel also will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation such as dark spots and acne scars so what I did with this orange peel I simply blend it to a powder like I'm showing right here and once you blend it to a powder you can actually store this in your refrigerator for around about six months or so so now let's move on to the other ingredient here I have a tomato and today I'm using a half of a medium tomato now when it comes on to tomato it contains many essential benefits for the skin it helps to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation loaded with antioxidant such as the vitamin C it also contain an ingredient called lipopene which will help to restore collagen production in the skin tomato help to get rid of dead skin cells and it also have anti-aging properties it may help to fight cellular damage so what I'm gonna do I'm chopping the tomato in small pieces and then I'm gonna blend if you do not have a blender for the tomato go ahead and grate the tomato and extract the juice and take a look at this here we have our blended tomato juice and now I'm gonna put this aside and reach back for my other ingredient now we have tomato juice we have a blended oatmeal and we also have our dried orange peel so let's just put all of this together and we're still gonna add another ingredient to this now let's begin so we're gonna start out by using two tablespoons of our oatmeal and now we're moving on to the dried orange peel and I'm using about a half of a teaspoon of the dried orange peel and we're adding this to the oatmeal and we're gonna stir we're gonna totally blend the two dry ingredients together make sure to get rid of any lumps that might be in the oatmeal so blend well now once this is done we're gonna move on to our tomato juice 
I'm going to use one tablespoon of the tomato juice to start with. Pour this in. And here I have an optional ingredient, which is coconut oil. If you have dry skin, go ahead and use the coconut oil. You can choose to use grapeseed oil. You can even choose to substitute the oil for some aloe vera gel instead. So I'm using a half of a teaspoon and I'm pouring this in. And now that we have all the ingredients together, we're going to mix and we're going to mix well. So totally mix, blend well, and this is going to take you about a minute or so. Now once this is done guys, you can store this in your refrigerator for up to about 3-4 to four days or so since we're using the tomato which tend to go bad really really quick. So don't make too much, just make enough to use in 2-3 to three days. Now this can be used on the skin 2-3 to three times a week for best results. As a matter of fact, it is safe to use on the skin every day. So to use this, you're going to apply it to clean skin and the way I like to do it, I like to use it to exfoliate my skin before as I'm showing here so apply it to your face your neck and your decollete in circular motion completely cover and once this is done after exfoliating for about two to three minutes you're not gonna rinse off you're gonna leave it on the skin for another 10 to 15 minutes or so and then you're gonna rinse preferably with cold water once you rinse pat dry the skin and apply your favorite moisturizer now guys this mask is gonna dry on the skin if you leave it for 15 to 30 minutes and that's how you're gonna get the best result from the mask go ahead give the mask a try guys just use it up if you're short on time exfoliate the skin with it and you're on your way to shrinking those large pores to brighten the skin to get rid of hyperpigmentation from the skin and to have your skin looking younger and fresher with a natural glow